Hello everyone and welcome back to Material Energy 4. So I m made my way down to the bottom of this mob tower as I call it. Ooh, don't know what I slipped on there. And there was a couple of chests on the way down and I got to the bottom level here and I've added a few things in just to make things a bit easier. So I've added this glass in so I can get to the bottom level of this spatial cell and just discover the zombie a second <laughs> one hit kills that's what i'd like to see so i've been working on my sword as you can see it's leveling up nicely and we've got all sorts of extra bonuses on there now and it's got self repair so that's good as well and I've just been gathering loads of loot here and we're just about to try and get some bits for the quest book now as we've already got some here uh, mini exomites and we need a couple of others and they are cold let me just get the quest thank you lost in time so what we're looking for is some auriculum and we're looking for the leafy will and i know exactly where that is because I found the secret chamber and I think that's all we need really is those two there and we'll have to make this I thought we were going to be able to find it in here but obviously not so we've got some of that and some of that how many bars do I need of that? 30 so have I got enough in here I don't think that's going to be enough for what I want so Let's convert them over to have a look. Yeah, we've got plenty for that. So that's that quest complete. Let's scan that in. And we get some new armor, because my armor's okay. I've been adding a few enchantments to it. But I wonder what this new one is like. So let's claim that reward. All right, let's have a look what that's opened up, actually. No, nothing yet. All right, so what's this armor like? Durability 3 and 2. Mm, I'm saying my arm is a bit better than that, maybe. I don't know. Mm, I'm not absolutely sure, so maybe it's better. I'm not sure exactly what this armor does. Let's, let's have a look in the any a second, just to see what kind of things it says. No, it doesn't really say anything. And the book that will tell me something about it, though. Uh, trace of an end metal, but isn't very good. It's only useful to ally the most powerful end metal. So I can use this to upgrade some metals, can I? Let's have a look. So I've got X my dust. So if we combine that with Meteorite, that should give me a new type of armor if we can get back to there, please. Or we can make that. Let's see what armor allows me to make. So that gives me that. Let's have a look. Base durability 1800. My level cobalt attack two hearts. So yeah, we'll mess around with that sometime. Okay, let's get out here now. So we're looking for Oracidum. I didn't have any in there, did I? No. And I happen to find it. It's in these spires here. Oh, we've got a few things in here trying to kill me. As you can see, this glass came in handy a lot. So let me just take care of these guys a second. Like that. Like that. Perfect. <laughs> it works every time. I've, I've also gone ahead and lit up a lot of this area. But the mobs seem to be coming from above. So we're going to have to be careful here. Right, let's get out there. Now the Reclium is up here. Let's take care of Mr. Zombie. Bye bye. Oh, he didn't get one hit there, did I? Yeah, it's right in there. So I've got to try and get at it without getting killed, of course. Right, so let's get up there. Ooh. And this is the problem. I sometimes I seem to get overrun by mobs. Let's get rid of him. So what I want to do is get hold of that stuff. Ah, that's a good chunk of it here. 
Excellent. So let's grab all that. Cool. I think we're going to need quite a bit of this actually. Let's have a quick look. So we need 64. I'd say I've got enough there. Let's have a look. Yeah, we've got more than enough, but I think I'm going to get the rest of this off camera maybe. And let's give it a zombie. And I don't think there's any other secrets. There's a load of it on that side as well. It's all over the place really. Let's get rid of Mr. Creeper. Goodbye. Oh, zombies, zombies. Ah, this is where they start. Ah, it's right by there is where they're coming from. As you see, they spawn up there. There's a couple of spawners still on these spires. Now, where is... Uh, we've got some of this stuff anyway. You might as well nick all this. Probably going to need it all. Uh, I think i still got charging my magnet. Whoa, what the hell? A speed, speedy zombie. So let's get up here. I think that's enough for that. I'll, I'll grab the rest of this off camera anyway. Let's complete that quest. I can't because I've got no room. So I'm going to have to head back a second. And the secret world uh, is in here. So I, I did spawn quite close to that really. Well not spawn but... I have totally got lost now, so I've got to find my way back into... Who's it? There it is, right. Let's get inside here a second. Right, so let's have a look what else we can do. I'll put the armour in there for a minute. So I've just been doing this a lot, clearing it out and so on. Right, I think we can claim that quest now. Let's claim that. So, clean rewards, and that gives us a lot more anyway, and we can make all sorts. So, this, we can alloy it to make Selenigal, which has an extreme enchantability. Hmm. No options there. So, let's put them away. Probably have to uh, take a lot of this stuff up later. I've got another chest up there somewhere. So let's see now, any other options? Nope. So we've done this chunk here now. So let's go and try and get hold of the world, which will give us the new spatial cell. So it's only over here, so I'm going to have to take care of a few of these guys first. Especially that, uh, yeah, nope, 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 nope. Right, so I want to get in here quick. Right. They shouldn't be able to get at me now. Only the spiders, of course. And you may notice I've done a little thing by here. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Oh, they can still get up, can they? How did he get up here? That's that bit by there, is it? Right, let's uh, get rid of that. Nope, can't get at me. Good. Right, let's get in here. Can I get at me? Nope. Right, what will have we got? We got the leafy world. So let's grab all this. I wish this would auto stack, to be honest. Nearly got it all. Right. Okay, so that's opened up another quest for us now. I should have just done that already. Oops. What's that, Skystone? Yeah, got it all. Right, let's check the buckle for that now. So that gives us our new spatial cell. Good. Well, I got room. Let's clean that. Right, that has opened up another option now. Just on the right by here. And of course I've already made myself an enchanter, so that's obviously going to be completed. And we've got a couple of things here to make as well. Right, so I'm assuming I've done this spatial cell now. I've just got to go around, collect the fuels, and I'm done. So I'm going to get out of here and get to the safety of my base. But 
I want to grab some of this flux box because I think it's going to come in handy for something. So and I'm just going to quickly grab all this. Let's clear okay. some of these zombies first. Is that it? Right. That's good. We better be careful. Oh, 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 little zombie there. So I'm gonna grab all this stuff. Oh. Right. So I grabbed all of that, those uh, flux blocks, and I let's have a look what these are used for. They allow me to make a growth accelerators, some flux crystals, and the flux crystals can be used to make pearls, some chests, all sorts of ME stuff. I wonder if there's a... Nope. I think that's it. And these can be used... Flux crystals can be used to make a wireless receiver, so that's going to come in handy. A quantum link chamber. Hmm. Yep, lots of good things there to use. So, oh. thank you, uh, Skelly. So I'm going to go uh, get all this stuff and take it upstairs. And there's a quick way of doing that. As you may notice, I revealed the floor by here. Let's give it a zombie. So, there's a bit by here. I don't think anything can get in here now. So, this will take me straight upstairs. So, why don't I go grab a few things. Well, I'm running back and forth. I need some food a sec. Right. So let's have a look what important things we've got in here. I did leave a few things. So we want our ore and our armor. And we leave some of these behind. I'm only after the good bits really. And the cookies. I think I got room for them. Yeah, that should do it. Right. Okay, I'm gonna probably offload a lot of this upstairs. And we'll th see what we're going to get up to next once I get back upstairs. So let me see if this works first of all. There we go, nice little shortcut. Right, I'm going to be back in a minute after I've grabbed all the loot from down there. And we'll start looking at trying to do some more of this. Okay, let's take a look at the book now. We've Gone and grabbed all our loot from downstairs, so I'd say we more or less done that in sp that spatial cell. So now it's opened up a bit by here, and let's go over to the other one just to have a look. No, nothing opened up there. So back here, have we got any quests to claim in any of these? No, okay, let's open up that one and let's claim that quest there. So that's going to give us. Some bits and pieces there. Now, let's have a look. We need a couple of these things. So let's start from the top here. I'll open that up later. So let's have a look at the energy distributor. Using energy distributors, I will be able to transfer redstone flux energy to my machine lines, always lead by creating small vortexes in space. Okay, so that's going to give me a few nice things there. I may got a storage capacitor back. And they're basically batteries. So let's see. We'll do, have a look at that one in a minute. So we got better enchanting with the printing press. Anything is possible. Hmm, I wonder what that can be used for. And of course. We're going to make this down at the bottom of the purple sphere. It's hot burning. Oh, it's nice and easy. So we got liquid of a version of that. Purple sphere. Hmm. 
got a feeling that is related to yeah that's going to be the nether sphere I'm not too sure with the witches they get you see oh I wish I, could. I wish he spelled that problem they get use evil with that magic and dance around any little seeds with their crazy cats Ooh, and there's a sword there that looks tasty and we got a load of wither skulls so that saved me uh going hunting them I guess uh what's this one drone attack okay so I've got to make killer Joe that gives me reward bag a couple of interesting quests there <laughs> Let's have a look at Joe in a tank. I've never heard of that. So Joe in a tank is made like that. What is a Joe in a tank? Attacks nearby creatures when supplied with a sword. Oh, that's handy. Although I've got a spike in my trap over there. So how do we make that? Dark steel. Fused quartz and a Franken zombie, which is made in a soul binder. So, how do I get a soul vial? Well, that's nice and easy. Okay, I think we'll try and do a few of them. So, let's have a look at that quest book. So, let's start with the energy distributor. Energy. And the diamonds, which are made with end pearls. Okay, I can forget about that one. As I've only got two end pearls. So I'm going to have to get any, a proper end pearl farm set up, I think. That's one thing. Let's see. Printing press. So look at that. Printing press. Yep. Dark steel. Gold. Uh. Electrodes, yeah, these all require. Let's have a look. Yeah, they're going to be difficult because they haven't got any in pearls, have I? And I think my best bet is just to wait for this till I go down into whatever spacious cell this is linked to, which I think is going to be. Where is it? The. Biosphere 4. So that's going to be interesting. Right. Oh, yeah, and I could grab the man a few of these energy cells from down in this inclusion chamber. So, yeah, there's a few interesting options there to do. And we've got this bigger on the inside. So let's have a look at bigger on the insides. Insides. Shrink, I think it was called a shrinking machine. So we need a world resizing device. Ooh, there's a few nasty things there. Okay, let's make that then. Right. So we're going to make two of them. So let's make two of them. Okay, I need some traps. Let's make some pistons first. They're probably going to need about. One, two, three, four. Let's make about eight. Eight. There's no doubt I will, will need them. So let's make that. Right, two of them. We need the. Uh, them. So one, two, three. Ah, I'm out of gears. So let's make a few gears. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Right. One of them, one of them. Need some more pistons, but it looks good. Unless the other one doesn't require it. So let's make a we need glass, do we? I have got sand in here somewhere. Let's grab a stack of that. 
we'll throw that in there a minute. No, actually, we don't want to put it in there because it comes up all wrong. Let's wait for that. We only need about six, seven, eight, nine pieces, really. So we'll let that cook up a second. So we need two of these. Let's put all them back in there. One. Two. Ah, there we go. It's all made. Excellent. Right. Not too hard, really. So that's opened up another chunk here. So let's claim that reward. So we're going to get few bits and pieces. What's this stuff? I can manipulate space to decrease the air on me. It's like a... I got a feeling it's, it's like a, another dimension or something. I'm not too sure, to be honest. Alright, what's that opened up? So, compact in space. With world resizing cubes, I can make compact machines with different levels of space compression, more compression, Allows more room to build. Oh, right, so I can make a little uh, sub pocket universe or something, as a of it. So if I make one of them, it gives me that. Cool. And it, well, we're going to need to make one of these to open up that anyway, so we might as well. So let's look at that. So compact, oop, compact machine, normal size, world resizing cube. So we need to make a world resizing cube, which is made, oh, uh, more of them, okay. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to uh, get some kind of auto crafting going on here. So let's double check which one I did want. Looks like it's the yellow one. So I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six. Don't know if I can make these, mind you. I've probably not got enough stuff to do it. So I'm going to have to see what happens here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, we've got a bit of a problem. We have got enough ender pearls to finish off some quests. So probably... I should think about doing that in the farm, but it requires loads of enchanted books and so on, so I'm going to have to do a bit of that again, so I'll probably do that in between episodes, but for now we'll go back to some of the easier quests, specifically the compact machine, as I've been processing a few materials and so on, I've made some world resizing interfaces. However, I think I'm going to need another 12 of these. No, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh no, actually I've got enough to make it. So I should be able to make this now. Yeah, okay, well, we'll let's make it. So let's grab that, and there we go. Okay, so now we need some gold. And there we go. That quest should be updated now. Let's just dump a few of them in there. Right, let's have a look at that. 100% gives us a chemical bucket. And some more resizing cubes. Okay, now what does this look like in the world, I wonder? Let's put it down, say... What does this do? I, I want to test this off camera just in case things go a bit funny. So I'm going to grab that back a minute, but at least my quest is updated. So let's get out of there. Now that opens up a few options here. What's this? Star for traveling. Oh, that should be make things a lot easier. Getting, getting back and forth around that base. And we're going to Get a few tasty things here. And what else? What other options we got? We got space energy. 
wireless charger. Ooh, that's handy. And oh, we got one of these guys, matter cannons. They're okay, but I probably stick with traditional weapons. I think they're all right if you haven't got to worry about destroying things. But we've got our base around here, so gotta be careful of that. And we've got exchange in space. With an exchanger, I can exchange a space and replace blocks with other blocks. The other area effect can be adjusted and used more hour per block. Ah, right, so that's going to be handy for certain things. And what else we got? That's it. So we're going to open up some of them. But to make the... Let's have a look at the matter cannon first. Can up? No, can I want? Uh, <laughs> ooh, yeah. This is where things start getting really expensive. And of course, uh, I reckon these are going to require that as well. So, a wireless charger, we might be alright with that. Let's have a look. Yep, okay, it's all requiring ender pearls, so i put things away for now. <laughs> Let's put them in there. Let's put them in there, safe and sound, right. Okay, so we're going to have to come back to these once I've got myself a proper ender farm up and running. And there was another quest over here I can't do either, as this requires a ridiculous amount of compressed items, which I will show you now. So the one we want is the Torturino, and it requires octuple compressed cookies, octuple compressed cobblestone, and a lutecite block. So I'm not getting that anytime soon. So I probably have to set up some kind of compressing system as well. Oh, fun. Right. Let's see. We'll go back to the main menu. Go to Lost in Space, I think. Now, there's a few questions here I haven't done, and the main one I'm looking at is over here. I can do that one. So that's carrots and potatoes, easy enough. I'm surprised they didn't do that earlier. So potatoes. Let's finish that one off. And carrots. Should be enough, and I should update the quest. Let's get our guts. And did I open up anything? Nope. Okay, well, let's have a look at over here. Let's see if there's something up here. Let's go with the aluminite. Aluminite can be made from iron, obsidian, and aluminium. Okay, so let's have a look at the recipe for that. Aluminite is molten aluminite is made via uh, so I need free aluminium per iron and obsidian. Let's grab some obsidian and some iron. Okay, so one of each. And how many do we need for the quest? So we need ten. So let's put ten of them in there. Ten, and I'm going to need a lot of aluminium. I have got some in ya. I think I've only got four pieces of it. Okay, so we'll just cook up a load of these berries. Let's grab all them. And I'll be back once this is uh, cooked up. And there we go. So our aluminate is all cooked up. I know I got a bit of access stuff in here there I'll have to suck out eventually, so let's grab that block now. Let's grab one by there. And one by there, and we should be complete. Let's grab that. And there we go. Right, so let me convert that back over. There's ten blocks. 
So that should update the quest. Now, did that open up the book anymore? No, it didn't. Great. <laughs> oh, um, okay, so we're going to have to go with... Now, let's see, how do we make flux crystals? So we need to make a universal seed. Mm. Let's see if we can open it up by doing that. So how do you make a universal seed is the question. Oh, that's really easy actually. So let's make one of them. And all we've got to do is just find out where it was. Universal seed. Let's make one of them. Oh, we need a bottle. And I don't know why that did that. That's a coolant, that one was, was it? Okay. Explains everything. So let's grab a bottle from there. Okay, why didn't that work? Ah, right, so I need a awkward potion. Well, that's nice and easy to make. I've got some over here, I think. Should be some already in the brewer. Okay, well, let's get this done and we can do other things. Let's see now. There we go. Universal seeds. Perfect. Now, I can't use these yet as I need the farmer and so on to do that, but we we're working towards it eventually. So there's our seeds. That gives us universal seed seeds. So we can actually grow these as a seed. Okay, now did that open up the book? Yes, it did. Perfect. So we've got some other options now. Now what can we do next? So we've got a seed infuser. Okay, and a couple of other ones, so I don't think we can make this seed infuser, but we'll have a look anyway. Let's have a look. Seed infuser. Oh yeah, I can actually make that, so we'll do that now. Let's open up the book a little bit more. Let's grab that and update that quest. Next up, we need powered soil. And to make powered soil, we need. There it is. So to mix some of this, we need some of that. I got plenty of the materials we need anyway. So let's make, let's make one of them. Unless we're going to make more, we're going to make five actually. So what are we missing here? Iron. That's because I had it in my hand. That's five. I should update the quest. We get an efficiency upgrade and some magic beads. Ooh, what are we there for? That's really opening up the book now. And we can make oh we can make reward bags with these seeds as well. That's pretty cool. And hammers. So I need hammers to break them down, do I? Okay. Growing spatial I.O. Really though, it comes from the ground. Ah, so we've got a spatial I.O. port thing like... Uh, oh no, it's just a spatial I.O. port. It doesn't mean I can grow it using the A.E. though, does it? Uh, so I get compressed cobble, special I.O. ports. Now I did have some of them, I think. Okay, maybe I didn't. Now how how expensive are they going to be? Ports, special I.O. ports. So we can we can actually grow them, can we? That's mad. Oh god. <laughs> Expensive recipes. 
Yeah, that's going to be fun to make. So let's see if we can actually make it before we carry on. Oh, I'm not sure if we've got any ports. And they are made using those inscribers. So I'm probably going to have to do a bit of experimenting around here. But we have opened up the book a bit today. We've got all these options here. And going over Lost in Time, we've opened up a bit here. So I've got a bit of work to do on these. And over here, we've got some comp compression stuff. Now if I look in here. Now what compressed stuff have we got here? So we've got loads of cookies and so on. But we can grow them as well, which is going to be pretty cool. That's something to look at in the future, isn't it? Anyway, I think we at the end of the episode now. So next episode, we've got a couple of options. We can either go into that spatial cell called Biosphere 4, which I might do, actually. I'm not too sure. I've got to work on the end of farm over here. And from there, we could go down the road and set up. Let's get in the right menu and set up all this system here to allow us to grow cookies and all sorts of goodies. So, hope you enjoy watching today, everyone. And don't forget to hit the like button as it helps my channel a little bit. And I'll see you next episode.